all right welcome back to part two hello gladiators welcome back if you are new here my name is ken and welcome i hope that you go ahead and hit that like button subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time that i post a video um if you haven't already go watch part one of this video it's basically me talking about being single and around valentine's day how icky that can be but um i feel like i said some really encouraging things so i hope you guys go and watch that video so this is part two where i'm going to be talking about um sex i know i know we're gonna be talking about sex we're gonna be being hot like a uh, transformation church humble open and transparent and that is what i want my channel to be is to be open with you guys okay new camera angle because my phone kept falling so i'm so excited because i feel like a lot of christians don't talk about sex and like this sentence is about to blow your mind god created sex what that seems so taboo but god created sex how awesome is that knowing that our creator created sex gives you more like i don't want to say freedom but almost freedom when you talk about sex like you don't have to be ashamed about it jesus talked jesus invented sex like he invented it he made it but he made it within the confines of marriage and so that's why this is like a part two to the signals that we we're talking about in the confines of marriage sex is glorifying to god you're like worshiping god when you have sex with your partner and you're married but when you're not married and you choose to have sex the bible calls it a sin against yourself sexual sin is the only sin where it like is against you're sinning against yourself you're literally like it's like stabbing yourself you like take a knife and you're just like stabbing yourself that's what sex is to us outside of marriage um i like this um example that uh pastor my child uses and he says that sex in the container of marriage is good outside of the container of marriage it can ruin so much um the analogy is just like water when it's behind a dam it can power so many things but when you let it loose such as like a hurricane or if the dam breaks or whatever it destroys it floods like that is the picture of sin so replace water and put sex and that is like what your life looks like if you do it outside of the container of marriage it just destroys so many things but when it's in that container of marriage it's such a beautiful thing and it's such a god honoring thing so i first of all wanted to give you my viewpoint of sex which i just did pretty much um and i'll give you a little bit of my personal experience so um i had sex i am not a virgin you guys probably know that because i have a child and i don't want to say i regret it because i try to live with no regrets everything is alert everything is a lesson and you just kind of build on it but i will say i wish i had waited i wish i waited <laughs> and um so even after that first time of having sex i continue to have sex and just a reference each time you have sex with a person it's like um it's like velcro so every time you have sex like you're just sticking to that person and then you're kind of doing that this and you're sticking to that person eventually you lose your stick because you've just been sticking everywhere and another way to, oh <laughs> another way to say that is as you join together with somebody with sex, you are combining your soul so That's literally true. when you break apart like this like when you that's why it's in the container of marriage it's good because it's literally building you guys together it's making you more one together but when you just go around and you just have different people that you're sleeping with or whatever 
you're literally giving them a piece of you and you're taking a piece of them so maybe with this person i gave them my insecurity now they've given me their anger so now i'm walking around and i'm snapping at people and i'm like i've never everybody's like cam is so sweet cam is so sweet she's over here snapping at people because i took that person's anger you're taking things from different people and they're taking pieces of you and you're wondering why you feel all messed up in the head and you feel all out of whack it's because your spirit your soul is connected to that person that is basically my view of sex if you are choosing to have sex this valentine's day i hope that it's within the confines of a marriage if not hear me clearly if not i'm not jesus and i can't judge you and jesus doesn't judge you if you have sex outside of marriage jesus is not judging you he doesn't want that for you but he's not judging you jesus wants you to live a life that is pleasing unto him but he also knows that you have he gave you free will and that means you have choice and so if you choose to have sex he knows the hurt that comes with having sex outside of marriage he knows the heartache that you're going to experience i will tell you the last five years of my life have been absolute hell flat out period like I have dealt with things that I never would have dealt with had I, one, not not linked with the wrong people, but two, had sex with those people. <laughs> Let me tell you, it is hard. And maybe I'll do a whole video on that if you guys want to see that. But I really like Jesus, like urge you to save yourself for marriage. And if you've already had sex like I have, like there is a brand new day each day. God gives us new mercies and new grace. So that means that today you can choose to not have sex. You can choose to be celibate. You can choose to abstain from sex. It is much harder to abstain from sex once you've had it than if you just never have it at all. I'm just gonna tell you blindly. Cause once you get a taste of it, you're just gonna, your, your flesh just wants it. And even when you don't want it, your flesh is like, just do it. Just do it because you're sad. Just do it because you're you're angry. Just do it because you have these feelings in you that you don't know what to do with. Just do it. Just suck your way out of it. It's much easier if you just never have sex. So that's for all my younger viewers or people who are still virgins. Like, just don't have sex. Wait till marriage. I promise you, it will be so, so worth it. Like, like I said, if you are planning to have sex this Valentine's Day, I have three tips for you. Let me do it in sign language. I have three tips for you um if you're just gonna choose to have sex because i want you to be safe and i want to give you um tools to help you i'm not saying i'm condoning you going out and you know doing that but if you choose to this is your choice so the first thing i would say is you need to be comfortable so that's the first tip is you need to be comfortable and you and your partner need to be on the same page that means when you say no if you do not feel comfortable having sex do not have sex if you're not having sex because you want to have sex because you think it's going to keep that guy or keep that girl or this is what they want this is what no 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 no. this is about you if you are not 120 percent comfortable say no and don't do it do not do it trust me <laughs> do not do it um and also make sure you and your partner are on the same page communication is a big part of doing that act uh, you need to make sure that your partner knows like hey if you say stop that means stop no means no like talk communicate tell them what you like tell them what you don't like um yeah so just make sure that you are 100 percent comfortable make sure your partner on the same page you feel uncomfortable at any time throughout that process stop it and cut it out just don't do it. All right, so my second tip is for you to groom yourself. <laughs> okay, hygiene, people, hygiene. Take care of yourself. Wash your body. Get in all the crevices, okay? You're going to be up close and personal as a person, and things smell, okay? Things smell. Like, get behind your ears. Get Clean your nose. You know, clip your nose hairs. Shave your mustache, ladies. Um, whatever it is, make sure you are hygienic. 
anything can throw off the ph down there for girls like literally anything an unknown object going inside of her boop, it's just like world war three down there so make sure you're clean make sure you are eating healthy make sure you are brushing your teeth especially if you're gonna you know go downstairs and do some stuff down there because you don't want any of those bacteria in your mouth to get into her because trust me it's just not a good thing all i can say proper hygiene people if you have um like any concerns downstairs make sure you go see your doctor um also go to the doctor if you're planning to have sex with someone make sure you both go to the doctor get std tested which leads into the next point number three is <laughs> number three is to wear protection wear protection wear protection wear protection okay nobody is out here trying to have babies unless i mean you are trying to have a baby but protection protects you against it's not 100 percent perfective obviously but it can help prevent against pregnancies unwanted stds hiv aids those types of things that you do not want so use protection it doesn't matter if he says it feels better without it no 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 sir no sir doesn't matter if you're on birth control ladies no 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 no. we're gonna use protection double protection okay also make sure before you guys even have sex before the conversation even comes up that you have gone checked that you check for stds do your due diligence and go get checked out and share those results with your partner if y'all are scared to do that then that means you are not ready to have sex um anyways those are my three tips i hope this is helpful i just want you to know that just because it's valentine's day doesn't mean you have to have sex and um just because someone is pressuring you to have sex doesn't mean you have to have sex do not give into peer pressure don't give into boy pressure or girl pressure like your body is your own and it's a temple this is god's temple your body and we must take care of it and just letting any uh billy joe bob into your body or Susie joe mary into your body is not okay and so i think um we just have to be really mindful of that and you know just guard our bodies the same way that god says to guard our hearts and how we watch our thoughts and things like that so um i just wanted to make this part two because i felt like sharing that information with you guys and i feel like i just want to normalize talking about things that christians um deem taboo and like i said i'm not usually like super preachy like guys if you know my testimony like if you know me in real life like you know you know <laughs> my best friend's watching this like you know homegirl be wildin okay like i am not perfect i by no means claim to be perfect but i do know a perfect god and i know that right now he's literally like transforming me from the inside out because just two months ago i was still out there wildin i was still out there in the streets i am proud to say that i've been celibate for what's today um almost two months in a week okay almost two months a lot of y'all might not think that's a lot but for me the way i was acting last year baby that's a gold medal okay so <laughs> like don't just think that i'm just like preaching and i'm like saying cliches and like throwing stuff out because it sounds good like no i'm literally living it you just get to a point where you're just like no like i'm tired of being tired <laughs> i'm tired of giving myself away to people who literally could not give two excuse my language shit about you about how they make you feel about how their act how their actions like affect you so once you get to that point you're just like it's better to be celibate let me wait for the man of god that god has for me like <laughs> and just know when you do have sex within that container of marriage it's gonna be bomb okay you're gonna be over there doing backflips and front flips and y'all are gonna be making 
worship joyful sounds unto the lord okay you're gonna be making joyful sounds unto the lord worshiping him okay giving him all the glory and praise i know i am but i'm gonna wait on it i'm not about to just give myself away and another thing i just think i just thought about this um like sex is so vulnerable and you want to make sure you're with somebody who is going to be gentle with you and this goes for guys and girls someone who's going to not be gentle with you physically although that should probably be a thing but like gentle with your emotions sex is such an emotional thing and people think you just do it and just like walk off no 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 no. you're connected to that person for for life like every time that person walks into a room and you see them you're probably gonna like freeze up or tense up just because uh, I had sex with this person. These are just my thoughts. Anyways, I am going to end the video here because I have to go pick up my baby. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like I said in the beginning. And um, I don't know, I've just been speaking about what God has been speaking to me. If you are abstaining from sex <laughs> and um, or you're a virgin whatever it is like i'm not saying to do this but i'm saying to help you in your process of weaning yourself off of sex with another human being sex toy Oop. get a sex toy okay that will, that will help you that'll help you but that's just a temporary that's just a temporary thing okay it's a temporary type of tool to help you in your journey okay so now that i've exposed myself let's go ahead and end the video here thank you guys so 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 much for watching thank you for all the support i truly truly appreciate it um yeah remember to let your light shine and to gladiate gracefully and i'll catch you guys in my next video <laughs> peace shine, 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 shine on all of this. Shine on all of this. my only to shine your light to shine on